Hey y'all, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're making candles. I hope this recipe is helpful for you guys. Keep in mind that I haven't really made candles with parasoy wax before, but I at least wanted to test it because I heard parasoy has stronger hot throw and I'm trying to make the best candles, like I said. So here I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna be making these parasoy candles. This is a popular recipe that I've heard works and makes a strong hot throw so i hope this is helpful for you guys and if it is let me know in the comments ask me some questions in the comments because we bossing up in 2020 so let me know what y'all think and let's get into it hey. all right so we're gonna need our pitcher some fragrance oil a stirrer a thermometer a scale something to cut the wax with a container some wicks wick stickers and some masking tape we need the masking tape to help write down our recipe so we can put it on our candle after it's done. So first we're going to take our pitcher and our wax and our scale and we're going to start cutting up the wax. If you've used soy wax before you might be used to flakes but this wax comes in a 10 pound block and you need to cut it or chop it up. Um, this wax is actually really really soft so it's easy to work with but it does come in a block so it's not as convenient and we're just dropping that in our pouring pitcher and weighing it so we know how much wax we're using next we're going to take our stirrer and our thermometer and melt that wax down we're going to melt it down so that we can expand it we heat the wax up to 180 degrees and allow it to expand so that when we add our fragrance oil it can bind with the wax Remember, this is chemistry, y'all. This is chemistry. You didn't think your chemistry class was gonna get you here. So we're put, we're keeping an eye on the temperature with that thermometer. And once it is heated to its peak point, we're going to wait for it to cool down a little bit before we add our fragrance oil. Typically, you wait between five and 10 or 15 degrees or even more depending on the wax you use. But here, I waited till about 10 degrees below the melting point and I added my fragrance oil so let's add the fragrance oil okay we adding the fragrance oil because we want our candles to smell bomb because we're making the best candles say what we're making the best candles so we're gonna stir that in we're not gonna over stir it because that can harm our candle as well so keep that in mind stir it just a little bit you know be gentle be nice to it and we're gonna let it cool a little bit more once it's cool to our peak point, we're gonna pour it, but first we're gonna take our container and our wicks and our wick stickers, and we're gonna prepare our jar. And I like to do this by taking the wick stickers, sticking it back on the back of the wick, the flat part of the wick. And something that helps me a lot with placing my wicks in the center is I like to take a straw you know i like to take a straw just so it helps make my wick a little bit more firm in its stance and i take my jar and i try to line it up with the number at the bottom of the jar because the number at the bottom of the jar is typically centered so that helps me gauge where the center is and so i just try to plop it on in Once we have our wick there, I take my wick bar to help keep it aligned before I start pouring my wax so that the wick doesn't move and it's sturdy because we want to make safe burning candles. And then you pour your wax, okay? After you put your wicks down, you let your wax cool a little bit and then you pour it. And that's it, y'all. Let me know how your candles turn out. I know this was a quick video, but I didn't want to take too much of your time, but this is how I made my first para parasoy candle, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. You told me I could trust you. Don't die. I could really.